It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that that's a broken screen, right? I'm sure we can all agree that that's a broken screen. That's a MacBook, a MacBook Air. I'm gonna show you how easy these are to replace. Got the screen here, let's get it done. Okay, so put the MacBook to the side for a minute. We ordered this screen yesterday. It arrived in this morning, which is fantastic for the customer. A lot of people can't go 10 minutes without their devices, so us being able to get parts quickly is very important. So, there we go. Okay, so there's the MacBook screen in the box. We get that out in a second. What else did I get? It's this. Oh, a cable of some sort. Here's how the screens come generally in the boxes. They come in a box wrapped up in bubble wrap. I couldn't get the right color for this one. The customer decided that was fine. They didn't have the rose gold in stock. They didn't have the rose gold. So we got a space gray. There we go. Brand new MacBook. Mac panel. See the way they gotta cover those with stickers? <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, let's get it open. Let's get the repair done. Let me show you how easy this is. Okay, so first thing you're gonna need is the correct bit. This one is a, a P5. That is the most common uh, bit needed for opening up the back of a MacBook. Then you can start removing all of the screws holding on the back panel. Make sure you keep them organized because you're gonna need to put them back in the correct place afterwards. You see the way I organize the screws? Everyone should do this. As you can see, there's four on the top, and then you have the middle one, and then four on the bottom. So one, two, three, four. The middle ones, and then one, two, three, four. So when it comes back to putting the screws in, I know exactly what way they go, because I've left it on the desk in the order that they need to go in. Makes it a lot easier. Some MacBooks require you to pry them up, kind of weird, but this one just pops right off very easily. No issues. Pop the back panel off, put it to the side. We don't need it until we're putting it back on. The MacBook is open. I generally just like to give it a quick dusting. This MacBook wasn't bad at all, but might as well get it done while we're in here. Next, before we start working on it, we're gonna to wanna to disconnect the battery. So of course, it's gonna be this connector here. You're just gonna lift that bit of a sticker and then pull the connector out. Now that we have the battery disconnected, these are the screws we're gonna be focusing on. Essentially, all the screws just along this top edge all of these ones are going to need to come out including the three big ones in the hinges but for now let's start from here work our way along removing all these screws and these little plates and things so we can get it disconnected along here are going to be a mixture between uh t5 the torx t5 and uh, torx t4 so make sure you have both of those available as well As you can see, I have all my screws arranged up here. The board has come loose now, as you can see, but there's just one more thing we need to do before we can remove it. I don't know if you can see right here, these two black cables here and here, those are the Wi-Fi antennas. They run through this piece of metal here. So we have to remove one more screw, detach these connectors, and then this entire metal piece should just lift out. Like I said, just remove that one little bracket, pop both antenna connectors up, and now we can remove this entire piece that's holding the cable in. The way I normally do this is come to one edge where there's no electronics or components or anything like that. You don't really have to worry too much about this piece because it's just metal and plastic. Lift gently with the tweezers, making sure that the cable isn't catching on anything. And just gently lift and do the same from the opposite side and it should just come loose. The cable is going to have to go in between here. See how the cable comes through that gap? Make sure you don't break anything, break any of the plastics or anything. This is a delicate piece, as you can see, it's quite flimsy. So just be careful with it, but it normally just pops out just like that. 
So let's go over it again. We removed all the screws from the back panel. We removed the back panel itself. We put that to the side. Then when we moved on to the inside, we were just focusing on the screws that were up the top here that were covering over the connector for the screen. We removed all of the screws, keeping them organized exactly like I mentioned before. We've removed the Wi-Fi antenna uh, just to keep that in place, which is perfect. And now we have just a couple more steps. Like I said, there's the cable. We're gonna to need to remove the hinge screws. So let me show you my little trick for that. But before I show you that, make sure you're following me. I never really asked for that before, but with the way TikTok is going, fighting against algorithms and stuff like that, I'd really appreciate it. If you're gonna be taking the time to watch my videos, definitely feel free to click that button. It's free, you can follow me, you'll see more repair stuff. Yeah, you're gonna see some gadgets and stuff along the way, but you're gonna get a lot more repair content too. So definitely make sure, follow me, like and share the videos if you enjoy them. And uh, yeah, that's it, all right. So what I like to do is get the Torx T8 bit, the larger bit this time and there's three screws on each side. I wanna slightly loosen all of them up. Loosen every single screw, just so the screw itself is loose. And then I'm gonna open the MacBook screen itself all the way, as wide as it will open, as wide as the hinge will allow. You can see there's screws here and here. At this point, I can start removing them. One, two, and it doesn't really matter if you mix these up, three. Same thing for the bottom, one, two, three. Okay, so once you get all those screws removed, three from this side and three from that side, from the two hinges, now the screen is completely detached from the frame of the MacBook itself. So at this point, we should be able to just wiggle and separate, just like that. There's the broken screen removed. There's the working MacBook body that we're obviously gonna be keeping. Put the broken screen to the side, get the new screen. And let's put it back together. It's just that easy, just a couple of screws and they just come apart. So let's get this new screen prepared. Of course, when they come and they're shipping them, they come with, tape and foam and protective stuff on the screen you just want that out of your way it's gonna just cause you problems while you're working on it so let's get all that stuff out the way the next issue we have is that these hinges as you can see are completely folded closed and it's quite difficult to get your finger underneath that because you're going to have to you know create some leverage to get that hinge to come up because it's quite strong the way you get around that is you get your t8 screwdriver you put it in the hole and using leverage, you bend it back all the way until it locks open. Same way on this side, get the screwdriver, using leverage, open it the whole way up. That's how you put it into the position that this screen was in without having to use your fingers, putting leverage and potentially breaking the new screen before you put it on. You only make that mistake once. There's really no easier way to say this than you just do everything in reverse. You just make sure that the cable is here at the back, you line up those hinges, Give it a little bit of a wiggle and that's it it's back together now leave it on the desk like this and then we just got to put one screw in both hinges it takes three screws on either side but just to get it back together and get it aligned we're just going to add one on each side don't torque these screws down or anything just do it finger tight for now just until we can get the alignment of the screen and the body perfectly like i said two screws in either side the screen is now attached very gently we're looking if there's any pressure points or if it's catching on anything gently close it down everything feels good at this point it's a good opportunity to loosen the screws again just a little bit and make sure all of the edges and everything are completely lined up before doing a final tightening of those screws and then we can add in our extras at this point you want to make sure they're all really nice and snug you don't want a loose hinge or it's going to break on you and this is already a crazy expensive screen replacement so don't risk it if you need a macbook screen replacement make sure to come see us here in market green shopping center and we're going to get you sorted or you've seen this video you can see how easy it is okay so at this point we have the three over here the three over here they're tightened down they're not moving everything is nice and stable and it's all lined up perfectly here on the edge so it feels really nice on the gap of course on this one like i said earlier we have a different color we're going from like a, a pink to a gray uh, it's definitely a custom macbook it looks quite quite cool 
let's put it back together now. Like I said, it's been easy so far, guys. You have to admit it. Let me know in the comments if this is something you think you could achieve. Let's get it back together. And now that we have that back in place, we're gonna take these little tiny antenna connectors and pop them into place. These ones can be tricky to do. Always be careful with connectors like this that are so tiny. Of course, at this point, we're just reassembling the tablet. The work is done at this point. The repair is completed. We just need to get it back together for the customer. Like I said, this MacBook was dropped off yesterday evening. We got the screen shipped overnight. The repair is being completed in less than a half an hour. Very easy. I can even record the repair while doing it. The unfortunate thing is, of course, it being such a large screen and it being an Apple device, they're definitely not cheap screen replacements. Okay. Okay, everything is back in place. All the screws are in their position. All I need to do is, of course, reconnect the battery connector right now, which would just take me half a second. If I could just get it lined up. But apparently I can't get it lined up. Come on, dude. What the fuck? Put all those screws back in and give it a test. And there we have it. Here is the old broken MacBook screen. There's the perfect working one there now on the MacBook looking good and like I mentioned before of course we ended up in this particular situation with a custom MacBook because no MacBook exists with a space gray top and a rose gold bottom so look at that fully custom MacBook nobody will ever be able to steal this MacBook because they're going to know exactly who owns it because they're just one of one custom MacBooks at Middle Trinity look at that brand new direct from the factory so gorgeous working perfectly like i said attempt your repairs at home if you dare not the hardest of repairs at all doing a macbook screen replacement i definitely recommend you guys give it a go if you can but if not feel free to pop it into us here in mark green shopping center and i will get it done for you as quick as this